Hey everyone, and welcome to an intro to World Creator 2 Extras. Today, we're going to quickly break down how to apply a smooth beach transition from land to sea. Now, I've already produced a live stream breaking down almost everything there is to know regarding the formation of beaches and beach edges in this video here. I've also linked it in the video description down below. It's a rather long stream, but it does have some useful knowledge in the front half of the video I'd recommend checking out if you are curious how to accurately depict formation of beaches and beach erosion. That being said, let's jump right into how we can implement some of those elements in that video to our sea edge at a basic level. Now to get the beach transition a more flattened representation, we could add a new area on top of the tropical area set the level for the new area to be one level higher so it will take more priority over the tropical biome below and sculpt in our beach to be more flat using the flattening tool or other tools to help you get the effect that you need. But to make it easier, let's do this same thing on a procedural level. So let's zoom in here on our beach edge so that we can see the content that we're going to be editing. And now with the tropical biome selected, let's go ahead and actually add a new filter to this filter stack. The first filter that we're going to add is the flatten filter. So go ahead and select flatten and then select add and close. And then what we want to do is ensure that the flatten strength is set all the way to one, which is its max. That way we get the most flattening effect with this filter. Now, obviously I don't want this flatten filter to take effect on the entire tropical biome here. So what we want to do is make sure that the flatten filter is only editing the terrain with respect to the ocean level. So let's go ahead and enable height select and then select the relative to ocean checkbox. So as you can see, the flatten filter is having the effect right here along the beach edge where we want it. We can hit the ocean toggle button here and we can see that the ocean level is about right in the middle between of where the high point of the flatten is and the low point to where the flatten filter is. Let's go ahead and remove the ocean, but we don't want this to have such a sharp edge. So let's smooth it out a little bit. So let's edit our low range here from negative 10 to be zero so that we can make sure that it matches the ocean level height. But we're going to ensure that the low point here is a little bit more smooth. So we're gonna change our low height smoothness to 15 meters. That way you can see how smooth it is along the ocean shelf right along here. Then for our high point of this range, let's set it to five meters because we don't need it to be too high in this case. And then to smooth this edge out, let's also change the height smoothness for the high level here to also be 15 meters. And with that, you can easily see that the terrain is now sloping down gradually and it makes it a little bit more of a harsher flattened area, which is fine because we're presuming that even in high tide, the water is going to come up pretty high and erode some of that terrain along that edge. So in tropical areas, you can see a little bit of a harsher drop here before it starts to taper off into a much more smooth beach that you're used to. So this did a pretty good job, but it's not quite flat enough. So the next thing I wanna do is actually just duplicate this flatten filter. So we can select duplicate right here. And then we're gonna change the height range to this ever so slightly. So let's take the top range here to zero so that the low and high point of this blended effect is right at the ocean level. And then we can change the height smoothness to have a little bit more subtlety. So for the low smoothness here, let's set this from 15 to five. And then we're just gonna keep the high number here as 15. So by setting the low smoothness from 15 to five, you can actually see ever so slightly, almost like a new terraced shelf in this sand. If you looked at that live stream video, you'll understand the striations in the sand formations, especially with erosion that I cover quite extensively in that video. So this is not exactly one to one for that on that video, but it gives the subtle effect that there's going to be a slight drop off under the water. Now, I know in a lot of cases, you're not going to see any of these sand dune shelf work here under the ocean in a game or in a CG environment. But in some cases, such as in the Caribbean, you can have water that's really clear and you can likely see all the detail underneath. Plus, it just helps the overall detail of the terrain to be a bit more accurate. And the very last filter that I'm going to add here is actually another smooth filter. So let's go ahead and add, click on smooth and then click on add and close. 
we're going to keep the general strength the same, but we're going to change the smooth strength from one up to three because we want the smooth to affect only the sand portions of the terrain. And in doing so, since it's always underwater and under constant erosive effects, we need to make sure that this is really smooth. So again, I want this smooth filter to only affect everything from the water level down. So let's select the height select option relative to ocean. And then I'm going to ensure that the low range is something way high. So let's set it from minus 10 to minus 200 so that it covers everything below the waterline. And then for the height range, we're going to set this from 10 to zero. And then what I wanna do is ensure that the top level of this height smoothness is set up pretty high. Not too high, but high enough where it covers all of this edge here that we created with the two flatten filters. So we're gonna set this from zero to 20. And you'll see that that has indeed smoothed out everything quite nicely below the waterline. Let's go ahead and select the heat map so that we can see the effect and uncheck that and see the ocean line. And there we go. The ocean line is looking to be exactly where we want it for this terrain. One thing to note is to keep in mind where the ocean line is relative to our sand here. For typical beaches, the water line for the ocean level is right above this first sand berm here. So that's one reason why we wanted to ensure that these three filters are relative to ocean because say we decided to change the ocean height later on, that's going to automatically adjust the two flatten filters and the single smooth filter relative to how the ocean is located. Now let's zoom in here and check how flat our beach edge is. This seems pretty good and I don't mind this little erosion line here because you're gonna get those in a beach sand environment anyway. But if you weren't happy with that and you wanted this to be ever so slightly even more smooth to remove some of these erosive edges, then on the last flatten filter here, let's go down to the level strength step slider 9 and 10. Let's bump these up to around 160. And doing so is going to ensure that this is even more flat right at the point of the ocean line where it takes the most effect on the filter. So there you have it, guys. That pretty much covers the design of our beach and sea edge. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.